hi guys welcome back to my channel you know from the title you can guess what this video is all about so yeah you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Aisha if this is your first time of seeing my face and for my returning subscribers you guys are highly welcome finally we have been monetized i'm sure you guys would have noticed the rate at which advert comes into my videos or the advert that you saw at the beginning of this video the one that you still see and the one that you still see so please guys do not skip my heart i'm so thrilled to be filming this because <laughs> it's been long overdue guys like it's been a long time coming so yeah guys finally we can start making money from the videos that we push out on here immediately i met with the criteria so it took me literally two days for um youtube to be able to monetize my channel so i'm going to give you guys the tricks and tips on how i was able to do that as fast as possible it, it, it takes some people as long as four six months some people one month and some people more than that in fact so i was able to fasten mine i'm going to get into that shortly but first of all let's start with the requirements the things that you need to meet before you are able to before you'll be able to monetize your channel because you know um there are just some rules that governs creators on youtube but actually before i get into that guys it's actually been a while i've been on youtube i didn't just start this channel yesterday like i'm almost on my two years of creating on youtube imagine you creating for that long and you are not even getting a penny but due to the fact that you know i'm just dedicated like this channel like literally there's nothing else that i can be doing from home that is going to be giving me money you know as a stay at home mom <laughs> work from home mom of course there are several several other things that you can do to get money online but for me my personality like i actually do love creating right like i love creating content i love you know the things that i do on here on my channel I like doing them so i'm like youtube is just is just some like is a place that i want to be the partnership program is is something that i want to be part of like i want to be part of you know the creators on youtube so that just got me like i kept going like one day one day shall we shall enter this ypp so yeah finally we are in it we are in it but anyways guys so let's get into the details of the requirements that you need to have before you'll be able to get into the youtube partnership program so first of all you have to have 1000 subscribers at least like minimum of 1000 subscribers you guys this is not facebook this is not instagram it's not twitter that you can easily get followers or tiktok get followers and all that this is youtube <clears throat> To even get one subscriber on YouTube is freaking hard. Like, especially for, of course, I'm talking about somebody that has not made it to the 1,000 ground yet. It is quite difficult. Though, when you first start your channel, right, you have friends and family that will post and they are going to publicize it for you that, oh, my guy is now on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. You know, during that period, you might get up to like maybe 100 or 150 or 200. You get. But afterwards, you are going to be on your own. So I was I was on my own for a very long time, very very long time. So it has been a hustle <laughs> to get to 1,000 subscribers. And you guys, after getting 1,000 subscribers, you have to still meet up with 4,000 public watch hour. It's not good, guys. Like it's not I almost got discouraged for from that. But then I'm like, hmm. I look at other favorite YouTubers and I'm like, if this person can make it, then who am I not to be able to make it? So yeah, that one got me ginger like, don't worry, you're going to do it, but it might just take a while. And it actually did. It took years, but finally we are there. Then number so three is you must not have had any YouTube community guidelines strike. Like you must not have any of them, like none at all <laughs> you also have to live in a country where youtube partnership program is available like if you're in a country that ypp is not available sorry you can't monetize your channel 
Then another one is that you must be able to have done two factor verification on your channel. Those are the four major criteria of the things that you need to have met before you can apply for YouTube partnership program. Funny enough, I got to <laughs> the one that scared me the most, I, the one that I was so scared for in the beginning that almost got me discouraged was the one that I got to achieve first. That was the 4,000 public watch hour. So I got the public watch hour ticked first before the 1,000 subscriber. Yeah, another thing that you need to avoid is to reduce the amount of copyrights, even if like there are going to be some points that um, probably the video that you're putting out does not like you do not have a choice that video just have to have copyrights like I actually did sacrifice like um, Few of my videos about three or four of them for you guys pleasure Like I wanted you guys to enjoy it to the fullest So I had it music that I copyrighted so I got copyright on those blogs, right? But right now I'm getting to regret it because <laughs> that means that i'm not gonna be making money from those videos like forever and ever and ever <laughs> so you really want to avoid having so much of those copyright videos as well because i think that can also lead to um strike and I'm, I'm guessing so you just have to avoid getting copyright music on your video i'm going to also give you guys where i get my copyright free music at the end of the video so Keep on watching okay when you meet up so, with the all of the criteria that is when you'll be able to apply so once you apply actually they're supposed to send you a mail first immediately you meet up with it you can as well apply first so i had already applied before they got me they sent me the mail because i just couldn't wait so it is the application that for some people is not going to take a while from what i've heard it takes some people six months four months three and the rest like that some people one month so when I was going to apply, I I actually did saw it that it's it's going to take me about one month, like for them to review my channel. I see if I've, I I've not gone against any of the rules governing creators on YouTube and everything. So I was not expecting a feedback from YouTube for the next like one month, the next thirty days. Fortunately, like two days after, was it even two days? No, it was the next day actually. The next day after I had applied, that was when I got the mail. This mail. This mail. Congratulations. You have been accepted into the YouTube partnership program. God, you guys. I read it like twice because when I first saw congratulations, I'm like, wait, is this really happening? Like, are we really here? Have I gotten here? Is it true? Is, could it be happening? So I read it. Then I read it again. I was like, wow, you actually did. I started jumping about, I was happy, I was, you know, like finally. <laughs> Let me now give you the tips of what made my monetization, you know, faster. Number one thing that actually fastened the monetization process, the verification, and everything was because I had already had an existing access account. So an accent account is a google account where youtube are going to be paying you into right before you can withdraw to whatever account that you want to withdraw and everything if you're just setting up a google account it takes long like it's actually a long process right right then eventually they are going to send you a code to your address then is that code that you are going to use to it's actually a long process so it is very advisable that you should have had an access account a google account right before you meet up with your criteria because this is going to exceed your monetization once you meet up with all the criteria you should probably set a target like you want to set up a realistic target you know before i was able to be like okay i need to achieve this before my next birthday as at that time i was already on like um it was actually 400 and something subscriber and that was like months ago and my birthday was still in june so i still had like five months interval to that time this would take me to the next level the next step which is consistency so after i had set the target then what am i supposed what are the things that i'm supposed to do to get it at as at that time so fortunately it was a time of ramadan so i've never ever participated in ramadan daily but because i had a target like i need to get this 
target like i need to meet up with this target before the stipulated date so i was forced to participate in the ramadan daily right so that means that i'm going to be posting videos once every day like i need to post one video every day for the next 30 days actually i didn't get to post for the whole of the 30 days but i think i did up, up to about um 22 or 23 yeah of the ramadan daily which i think is still fair enough and this once guys it really did help my channel like it got it gave me a lot of exposure like my videos that were getting pushed out a lot more people were visiting my channel a lot more people were subscribing a lot more like, i got the exposure that i needed because i was being consistent with the vlogs with the videos that i put out every day literally every day so yeah i can say that consistency worked so on the consistency level i'm still trying like i'm still striving too but it is the major factor that helps in reaching the goal you know i had raised my um up like it was so high during ramadan because i'm like i i'm good i'm definitely going to meet up with this 1000 subscriber before ramadan ends however it's, it was quite unfortunate that even with the ramadan daily i still did not meet up with the 1000 subscriber this brings me to the next point on the ticks do not be afraid to ask for help i was dming people because i have more people on instagram compared to the my youtube so i was like majority of these people do not even see my posts you know the way instagram algorithm has like it's it's really messed up so i'm like let me just start dming people and um, ask them to subscribe to my channel and i did that it actually did work but you know on instagram there's a limit to how much dm and everything that you can send especially in a day and all so it got to a point that some of the people that i sent the links to the um instagram was already giving me warning so it got to a point that i could not send them again so i had to just calm down before instagram would go and block my account then i was now on 970 something for subscribers the so the giveaway was the one that actually now gave me the rest of the subscribers that i needed the thing is people actually do want to help but they they need something to ginger them because who are you to them why should i help you like not even to this extent i can help you by subscribing but why should i help you ask people to subscribe you get what i mean because you know the the participant of the giveaways right they needed the money of course so the only thing that they could do in return for me as well is to help me publicize my channel for their people to subscribe and of course it's not like i'm doing so bad on youtube my vlogs are not that bad they are not even bad actually don't let me be so extraordinarily humble the people that are subscribing they subscribed and they stayed because the thing for you to do giveaway is a thing for the subscriber to actually stay they subscribed and they stayed so that got me to the one thousand accounting so yeah those are the tips and the tricks of the things that got me to be on the one thousand as fast as possible like to meet up with my target now we are going to get into the how i get copyright free copyright music for my videos so i either use thematic thematic is absolutely free all you need to do is to credit the artist that you used credit them down in the description box that is for thematic then if it's epidemic sound that one is you don't need to credit them all you need to do is pay a subscription fee i think it's about eight thousand era now but i'm currently using their free version which afterwards i'm going to run away then probably later i'll come back to start paying for it because it just doesn't really make sense to me like when i've not even started getting any money from the youtube and then i keep spending and spending and spending you guys know how much it takes for you to even upload a single video like even if it's a five minute video on youtube you know how much data if you don't know now you know it takes a lot of data for you to upload on youtube then you can also use soundcloud so those are the three places that i know that you can get music from that are not copyrighted provided you follow the rules and regulations so yeah guys those are basically the things that i've done that are hissing up my monetization process the tips and tricks and also i hope i'm able to enlighten you more on the requirements for youtube partnership program and i'm hoping that you guys find this 
video as helpful as possible so yeah guys this brings us to the adverts that you're going to be seeing on my videos please please i dare to at least watch the adverts to some extent let's be realistic you guys cannot watch all the adverts finish because there are some ad adverts that are like three minutes long i'm still going to beg you anyways don't skip the ads don't skip the ads don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also do subscribe if you have not subscribed then comment down below let me know if this video is helpful even if you are not in the even if you are not a creator on youtube i'm sure this shed some light for you like you're able to understand creators on youtube a lot more at least now you know that if you skip ads you are reducing the money that the creator is supposed to get so